This past week, I shopped at the thrift store, off of Facebook Marketplace, and I found a few clearance items from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Hope you stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. My name is Trish and I've been a busy little bee this week. <laughs> uh, I picked up quite a bit of things uh, the couple of times I went to the thrift store and I also decided to stop off at Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby and I also wanted to show you what I got there. So okay let's start with Facebook Marketplace. Uh, quite a few deals at the Facebook marketplace. Uh, I picked up this pillow. I like it. It's like a sweater material type pillow. It's pretty large. Uh, she charged me 50 cents for this. <laughs> Stopped off at their health food store in Logan and I picked it up and I'm just going to throw it in a wash and then I'm going to take a pair of scissors to it because it does have some pilling to it, but it's still in really great condition and I plan on putting it on my bench when my husband gets it made. <laughs> so I was really happy about that. I'm always happy about my purchases because, you know, for the most part I get good deals on them and I love to decorate. <laughs> so, uh, now some of this stuff I bought to resell on eBay, uh, but most of it is for me. So I'll let you know what I'm going to be selling and what I'm going to keep. That pillow, of course, I'm going to be keeping. Uh, found these two pairs of jeans. The lady was selling them. They're carpet, men's carpenter jeans. They're Bailey Points, new with tags. I got two pairs and she charged me $5 for both pairs. And so I'm excited that I love when I can get new with tag stuff. That's really the only kind of clothes, clothes I buy anymore uh, if I'm going to resell because I don't want to be bothered with the washing and ironing and stuff like that. All I do is just spray them really good, set them outside for a little bit to air out and they're good to go. Snap some pictures, measurements, easy peasy. Okay, these are also to resell. I found these area boots. Actually, I picked up these boots two days before I stopped at her house for the yard sale. Uh, she was selling them for $20. They are in gorgeous condition. Just a little light wear on the soles, but not that much. Uh, there is a little bit of scraping right. It looks like someone took a marker or something to it, but there's a little, just a tiny bit of scraping along this, uh, uh, this edge right here. But they were in gorgeous condition. Just need to clean them up a little bit. Uh, they are, they have a, like a little scuff on the toe right there. I need to take some black shoe polish, but they had one listing on eBay. They were listing theirs for $100. I don't think they'll get it. I'll probably list mine close to 70, but for 20 bucks, $50 return, I'm really happy. Okay, I have been looking forever for a new cork board to go over there on my wall. I had purchased this arrow uh, and it's just not, I mean, the cork's not thick enough. There's a piece of wood underneath it and it's just, the pins fall out of it all the time. So I found this. It's just a Hobby Lobby piece, but you know, she was selling it. It cost originally $40. So I imagine she got it at 50% off because most of the stuff in their store is 50% off. And I bought it for 15. I don't think she had it very long. I was happy to pay the 15 because it is quite heavy. Uh, it is wood. Uh, the, the, the frame of it is wood. I don't have to do anything to it. I was pretty happy with this for $15. So I can't wait to get it up there and get that arrow down. 
And the last thing I got off of Facebook Marketplace this past week, and this I absolutely adore. Lady was selling this vintage kids wagon. Uh, she was selling it for $15 and I snatched it up because it will go upstairs in the grandkids room for decor. I just absolutely love it. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I was really excited to get it. Usually I I can't get, I miss out on a lot of things because I, I find them after I come back home. I mean, I live 30 minutes away from Logan. So it's, so I'll go there, I'll do some shopping, come back home and these things usually pop up afterwards. And very few people will hold them for me till the next day. It's usually first come first serve but she was kind enough to save it for me for the next day, which I really appreciate um, the lady for doing that. Not everyone will do that, but uh, there are a few who are kind enough who do. So I was really, really happy with this. Michaels, let's go with Michaels next. Uh, I only found three things at Michaels. Uh, I found these lamp <laughs> uh, decorative uh, glass things. I like I like the little sticks they have in here. There's a little bar right there. There's some little twirly things right here. Uh, I really like this for the fall. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but it was originally $19 and they were selling it for, it was $19.99, I got it for $7.97. So, not bad. I also bought these twigs. You know, these are really quite long. Uh, I, I really like these. I wish they had more of these, but they only had one pack. And they were originally $12.49, and I paid $5.97 for it. I, like I said, I wish they would have had more of these. I would have bought a couple more of these. But I'll probably just, you know, use them as like a filler behind these other ones that I bought. And the last thing I found over at Michael's on their, at the back of their store, their clearance uh, section, is this. Well, I, I bought two of these, uh, these candles. They don't really smell, but I love to decorate with candles. I don't necessarily like to burn them because <laughs> after you light them, I think they just, it just takes the appeal away from them. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like them lit, but I love having them out as decoration. And I have a couple um, really big uh, candle stands that I needed candles for. Uh, and this was originally $20, $21. I got it for six. And I bought two of these. Exact same. So I was pretty happy about that. Oh, I did I did find something that I, I bought off Facebook Marketplace and forgot to show you. So I will show you that right now. Uh, I bought this Sensi. It is extremely used and dirty. And I need to clean it up but they were selling it for $5. I guess it was in the lady, the lady was selling it. I guess it was in her father's place. It was his girlfriend's or something like that. And it is extremely dirty. I think it even has like a dead moth in there. <laughs> but it is extremely dirty. Uh, she sold it to me for $5. I am selling this on eBay and I should be able to get around 25 for it. Okay. Hobby Lobby. Uh, didn't buy a whole lot there either. They really didn't have much in their clearance, but I did find this paint. It had tipped over and I think the top had, part of it had come up and I, I had to like soak it in kind of like hot water to uh, or run it up hot water on a lid to try to get it open because the lid was stuck, couldn't get it open for the longest time. Uh, it was originally $11.99. I paid $3 for it. It's uh, called Milky White, and it's just a liquid acry acrylic. I love this color. Uh, 
I'll use it somewhere uh, to paint some type of project. I have tons of projects I'm going to start doing and start videotaping them. So hope you stay tuned for those. So I got that. They also had some magnetic letters there. They didn't have very many. They probably only had like maybe eight or nine there. But I found the word boo. <laughs> now these were originally $2.99. I got them for 74 cents each. And these will, I don't have to do anything to them. I was really happy when I found this. And also that's my uh, granddaughter's nickname. My Haley Boo. Okay, I found these little, I guess they're, they're not, I guess you can call them charms, but you make bracelets out of them. Uh, I like this one. These were like dogs. I'm not, I have two dogs, but you know, uh, I was actually going to make them with some uh, jute twine. I make bracelets uh, and I was going to make three separate bracelets and sell them on eBay and... I thought that was cute. These were regular $8. I got them for two. I also found these. I found two of these. I'm going to make one for me. And then here's the other one. I was going to make one to sell. Uh, these were $4 and I got them for $0.99. Cents. So I got those. <laughs> I thought these were cute. Uh, I was actually going to keep one for me and it's just a little charm that you, you can make a necklace out of, but I was also, I was going to put it on a bracelet and it's a turtle and it says life is not a race. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely darling? Oh my gosh, they're so cute, but I was going to keep one and sell one, make one to sell. They were originally $4 and I got each one for 99 cents. So those were cute. I really like those. Okay, and then I got a few signs that I found. This one was originally $15 and it was marked $374. And it says, I love us. I will probably paint this back part. And these are just screwed on, so I can just take it off and paint it. Uh, most likely, I will probably um, come in with like a red. To go around it and uh, then maybe uh, distress it a little bit. I haven't really decided, but I really like this sign. I thought it was really cute. So I picked up that. And I need a, I need a bunch of stuff to put on that long shelf. I'm going to put all of those windows as soon as my husband gets it made for me. <laughs> it's on his to-do list. <laughs> and that list is getting bigger and bigger. And he's, oh my gosh, the poor man. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say, oh, I have a project for you, or I found something else for you, and he's like, oh my God, what now? <laughs> uh, I also found this one. This was just right, originally $10. Uh, I paid $2.50 for it. And it says, let go and let God. Uh, so I thought that was really cute. And don't have to do anything to this one. This one, just hang it up. As well as this one. I found this one. I thought this one was really cute too. Uh, it was originally $20. Got it for five. And it says, gratitude turns what we have into enough. So I really love this too. I thought it was gorgeous. So can't wait to put these up. I was really happy with this. Okay. Thrift store. <laughs> Uh, I went a couple times, like I said, but I did find some really nice things. Uh, first off, I found these pumpkins. I like the little beads on it. I just don't like the color. I like the texture of it. And I was going to spray paint these. And probably wrap some uh, twine around the little stem. And I bought two of them. I paid a dollar each for them. So I thought these were really cute. I, I just haven't decided what color I was going to paint them yet. Also found this bird cage. I was really into bird houses for a while, and I I kind of got out of that. I do still have a couple, but um, I pretty much got rid of most of mine. 
Uh, this was five dollars. Uh, I bought one almost sort of like this not too long ago um, at a yard sale for three dollars and so I bought another one paid five dollars for this so I was really happy about that. Um, also bought these for a project. Uh, I have some these are like little gingerbread men. I got all of these for a dollar and they already have pre-drilled and I have like the really thin um, twine that can go in here. Uh, I have this, um, I got it at the Dollar Tree. It's just brown wrapping paper with some flowers on it and it's very pretty and I thought I would just use those to put on top of these and cut them out. That way I can kind of use these in everyday decor too so and I, I think I also have some bells downstairs that I can also put in between each of these little men so I thought I can't wait to get on with that project I got so many projects to do <laughs> now I wasn't gonna buy these but I think my daughters probably need them because I have plenty of cooling racks but they had these and these were like I don't know. I might actually even keep one of these. I don't know. Um, I do have three daughters, and I'm not sure if they have any cooling racks or not. But if they want them, I'll probably give them to them. But it was $4, uh, so it was a pretty good price because I think these normally run around $20, um, between $20 and $25, I think. I think on eBay that's what they were selling for. Um, I think they were selling around $20. Um, but it's really long. It, it, they have like little, kind of little feet on them. And it just extends out. You can either, you know, if you don't need it that wide, you can use it like that. But if you need it wider, it just extends out. And I bought three of these. They had three of them, so I bought all three. I have three daughters. Uh, they all, you know, are going to have their own place here pretty soon. <laughs> I got two of them back with me. Um, but I'm not sure if they have cooling wrecks. So I, I will talk to them about it to see if they have it. And if they want them, I'll give them the cooling wrecks. I pretty much always think about my kids or grandkids uh, when I go out. So that's why I picked up all, all three of them. So they, they were $4 each. I also found this Noritake Stoneware Pitcher. I'm going to keep this for myself. Um, might even use it as a gravy boat, who knows? I, 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 but I do have a gravy boat down here, which my daughter will probably steal for me. <laughs> but I do have another stoneware pitcher. Um, this is made in Japan. Uh, it was 75 cents. Really nice, gorgeous condition. No chips or cracks or anything like that. So I, probably use it for decoration right now, but might have to use it as a gravy boat because like I said, I think my daughter is going to steal this for me. <laughs> I found this, uh, this was 75 cents and this was 75 cents. It has like a, a little dish with it. Now this is the pattern that my daughter has. She's been uh, looking, you know, I mean, she picked up plates. She has the brown and she has the green. I have like the the blue, but as you can see, I have like brown in my house, so I could use this, and I really like it. But like I said, um, I have a feeling my my daughter will <laughs> probably want it. <laughs> so. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll part with it or not. I, I probably won't now, but I can't say who knows. I mean, I'm always giving my kids stuff. So, I mean, when they go shopping, when I get rid of anything, I ask my kids if they want it first. Uh, and they they come shopping at mom's house before they shop anywhere else. <laughs> but I really like that this was really cute. So I was happy with that. So like I said, hopefully I keep on, keep a hold of it for a while, but I don't know. Okay, I also found these Coke glasses. Uh, I'm not a really big, you know, fan of Coca-Cola, uh, but I like the color of them. And I thought they'd be really cute as uh, just a filler, you know, uh, on a shelf uh, with some little, you know, 
greenery or some little sprigs or something. Maybe we picked them up just for the color, uh, but I like them. I was more of a diet Pepsi girl myself. Okay, um, these I am going to sell. Now these are from Ikea. They're just the metal knobs, curtain knobs. I found two sets of them. Uh, I could probably get both of these sets, uh, sell them for around $25 to $30. Uh, they were 75 cents each. So getting even $25 for both of them or even $20 for both of them would be, you know, a good sell. So I got those to sell. Uh, also to sell, I found these Dicky work shorts. I found two pairs. I found this blue pair. They are new with tags. I paid $4 for them. So pretty easy to snap some pictures, take some measurements. Uh, I had a pair of these not too long ago. I think I had a gray, I think they were gray and I sold them pretty quickly. And uh, so I have two more. These are black and these were $4. I will sell those. And I think I sold them for around 20. Uh, so happy about that. Also, I bought these for me, but once I put them together to see if they have all their pieces, these two puzzles actually sell pretty good on eBay. So I might try to resell them if they have all their pieces. And I'm a puzzle buff. I love to do puzzles. Uh, when I was younger, before I had kids, uh, my best, one of my best friends and I would just, we would start after dinner and we would just do a puzzle and we would not quit until we got it done. <laughs> Sometimes you can go home until like <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but uh, this is a Ravensburger uh, puzzle. This is an escape puzzle. I thought this was pretty cool. I thought it would be pretty fun to do. And I would, I thought the, it would be pretty good to sell afterwards. And these are nice quality puzzles. That's uh, why I picked them up. This one was $1.50 and like I said, I'll put it together. And if it has all of its pieces, then I will be reselling that. And you can probably, I mean, even with the buck 50, I think you still sell those for like, you know, $12. Also, I found this puzzle. Uh, it's an art piece. Uh, pomegranate, is that what it's called? Pomegranate art piece puzzle. And this is reconciliation quilt. And I thought this was like really pretty. Uh, and I thought someone would really like this uh, to do. Now, I used to glue puzzles together and put them on, in frames and use them as decorations. Uh, and I, I think this one would look really pretty. Uh, and so, and this one's not, this one's only 300 piece, so it shouldn't really take that long to put together. So this one cost me $2, so have fun doing that. Okay, a few more items. Found this to go in the, the grandkids room uh, as decor. These are Norman Rockwell, The Four Seasons books. Now these were printed oh man, the last one was 1984 and but I really like these I paid a dollar for the set uh, there's, there's the summer now they do sell these on eBay but they don't go for very much and I just wanted to use them as to I here's the spring and here is the autumn I thought they were really cool. Uh, so I can't wait to put those up there. Uh, so I'll, I'll be doing a lot of redecorating once um, my daughter and her family move into their place. So Until then, it just all goes into a box <laughs> and stored in our garage. Okay, a couple more things. Uh, bought a book for me. Uh, I'm an avid reader. I love to read when I have time. Lately, I just don't have enough time. But this is uh, one of my 
one of the authors that I read, Karen Slaughter, this is one of her newer books. I have a few upstairs. Uh, I have uh, a loft area upstairs and I turned it into my library room and that's where I have all my books. But it's where my daughter put all of her homeschooling stuff up there so I can't really get into it. I, I mean, we have a couple chairs up there, reclining chairs that I like to go up there and you know sit and, and read. But like I said, I can't get up there right now. So, but this would just go in with the rest of my books. I have tons of books. One of these days, I'll show you my library area. So I got that to read. And I bought this picture frame, which I thought was very pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll paint it or not. I might. Uh, it has that nice vintage. So it's called Vintage Discoveries. It's a seven inch by five inch uh, picture frame or picture opening. And this will go into the bedroom that my daughter and her husband are staying in. So uh, put that in there. And it's decorated more of like um, with older pictures. Um, last thing, I bought this backgammon game. And I've never played backgammon before. <laughs> Don't know anything about it, but I like the box. They had this wooden box, paid a dollar for it, and I can just paint over that. It's not engraved or anything in the wood. And actually, I have these. Um, I'm just going to paint the inside, get rid of all this stuff, because, I, like I said, I, I don't play backgammon. I don't know anything about backgammon, so I'll just toss these things. I might save the little round pieces, because they're wood, and... Use them as magnets. Hey, yeah, there you go. I have some other magnets. I can glue in the back of them, and I can actually, well, you know, so either put that. But, oh, that'd be a great picture for, uh, I mean, project for the grandkids. Have them put something on there, and they can put um, little magnets on the, the refrigerator. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> there you go. Think of something right off the bat of what I can do with these little pieces, so I don't have to throw them away. That is all that I thought. Leave me a comment. Is there a certain thing that I bought that you would like to have had? Or, you know, give me some ideas of what I can use this box for, turn it into. Uh, I would love your input. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. I would love to have you as part of our family. Uh, until next time, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.